Nation. Wagwan. Wagwan. Nation. The entertainment fee community. Wagwan. We're there upon the Thursday year spotlight Thursdays. Wanna see Wagwan upon the screen. Ragging King Ashua with 10 bricks. And we assume that each of them is a hundred thousand. So wanna see Wagwan. One mil upon the screen. Ragging King share that. Stating that it's motivation for the youths them. <laughs> The bank of pink boss I make ranking king no say one mil Jamaican that a stripper money. Some man start hype to them make a piece of money. One mil Jamaican that a stripper money. But pink boss no means nothing by it. More than likely him just a mess around ragging king as pink boss himself liked the post. Conscience are gonna fire upon the entertainers, them, the artists, the producers, and I guess a few others who have them career and they were spoon fed in them career, them get the golden spoon, but to act like them fight for where them get. Conscience took it to Instagram stories where he shared this. Something that really annoys me is successful artists slash producers in an open and close bracket people that were spoon fed or mentored or given the opportunity of a lifetime or put on directly by someone else. Then skin up them face and talk shit about other artists, producer. And once again, people in a open and close bracket trying to make it too and try to tell them their success story and leave out the part where they got lucky with big druggies friend where I wash money or rich family friend to give them a start or bad man friend for bully them we're in or drop in at the right link from day one. Bro, it burn me for watch on our criticize and beat down the youth them and go on like Uno was so good. That's why Uno thing work and everybody else lame but tired I know to all aspiring artists and producers and whatever else as you want to be take my advice now follow them kitty there them just a chat chew them up strong words there from the entertainer and that alone people conscience continued don't make them discourage you there is much more to them story focus on yourself watch and learn network 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 that is a skill most of them are just information and who them know separate them from you stay sharp and stay ready that is a skill timing is a skill Study business and treat yourself as such. Don't think they have it all figured out and you just lost. I can tell you say, for me to reach where I am, this shit was a mixture of talent, ambition, drive and luck. And you see luck in a capital, there's a people. But them no one telling you that part, don't make them discourage you. Conscience continued. Are you like me? We never in a no link and never know about networking and have no famous or rich friend. Can't imagine if I didn't know me a try buster ass. Your mentality of a strong youth. Don't make them discourage you know. It can work. It's affy work. Strong. So only you want one this of people. I want to tell you what I think about that. From the other day, it would seem as if dance and artist and see and dance and artist spice not to see eye to eye. Do one of them never said that directly, but at the same time, the two have been made to share the post on Instagram. Not just that, Shensia and Fala Spice on Instagram. Don't know if Spice and Fala Shensia, but we know that Shensia and Fala Spice. I think Romish and Fala Spice as well. Me and Line just know that Shensia and Spice not to see eye to eye. But from what says Spice, Shensia, and Romish, we don't know the drama that have been surrounding the three names from the other day. Romish did an interview with Lava from the Chat and Love show. I should mention that Shensia was also interviewed. But to be honest, there is not nothing really to take from that interview. There is not really nothing to share about it. Still, people, check out the interview. How me for do it myself? I don't have 3.5 million followers. It doesn't matter. I don't have it neither. And sometimes I have it. I don't have the artist artist in the dance hall. I'm for the... What am I for do? Which people them start posting out to me because I'm an artist or the artist artist. Hello, people. I am her manager. I am supposed to be her biggest fan. So, allow me, let me talk. If you don't like it, chuck off. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nation, from the entire interview, from the entire time, Ramesh was on Chat and Laugh. That are the only thing from that interview we were sharing back with the people. Honestly, still, Ramesh is the same artist. Shensia are the artist artist out there right now. But the thing is, Ramesh never said the artist female artist out there right now. Ramesh said the artist artist, the artist entertainer out there right now. So, and not just the female part of the thing Ramesh I talk with, we could have said, maybe he must say she better than Jada Kingdom, she better than Spice right now and so forth. No, Ramesh said the hottest artist out there. So is uh, Romish saying to us that uh, Shensia is other than Vibes Cartel, Popcorn, Alkaline, Spice, Chanel Muir, Jada Kingdom? 
We don't agree with that. Although when you really think about it, let's compare Shensia numbers to the rest of entertainers' numbers when we just mention. And uh, I don't go to the calculation, you know, but I want to do that and uh, make me know what you think in the comment section. I mean, I want to talk about Shensia have this damn good manager and a powerful team back around push our things and a one bag of promotion because at the end of the day, that is supposed to be a part of the thing. So not just true, Shensi had we right. People are move as if them want upset with her for that. Mm -mm. All of them things there, where she had do in terms of promotion, good manager, good team and them kind of thing there, that is supposed to be a part of the thing. But I want to state and tell me what to think about that. We not gone nowhere yet because we have to burn a little fire upon lava. Lava, I am so disappointed in her right now and you have to get the fire. Although she's our local artist but to our thing gone global, we are considered as an international dancehall artist right now because she gone international. But you have the likes of Shen Sia on your platform so she has your interview and a dat you give me. Your interview Ramesh and a dat you give me. So, know yourself. The, um, you sweat out there already. I see her go on and I see her rings my song. Thank you so much. I'm yet Come to post on. that video. Big up Thank parcel, come and say my put up a one bag of money pull up. Yes. Salava, I'm my song, you know, you give me a little commission, a little no. Eh? No, it's one, no, no, it's was my birthday. Uh -uh. And that's how you use for me. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I did my birthday, Shang. Oh, you're lucky. So, yes. you're going to ask me where you want to be a birthday? I'm going to be a birthday. You know how much people, you know how much platform media also right now want to interview Shensia. The amount of people would appear to get Shensia upon them platform for do an interview. And you get to do the interview free of cost. And this is what you decide for to do. You go over there and talk about merch. You talk about your birthday. And I talk about how much money Vibes Cartel give a pull up and how much money Ramesh give a pull up. Judge your papa. And me I'm gonna be real right now. I feel as if likewise myself and a whole lot of people out there they wanted to hear more about the drama and controversy surrounding she and spice they wanted to know what she thought about it what her take on it the whole queen thing but if you don't want to ask her about them something the lava ask her about her music what's next in the pipeline what the next big project out there make we know which dancehall out there right now where you don't work with where you don't like for work with that you have never worked with before you don't want to work with right now you don't want to do a collab with Ask her about Spice, if she actually wanted to do a song with Spice, a collab with Spice. Ask her something way more interesting. Not just them little giggy giggy type of thing them were you over there going with. And me nah be disrespectful or me nah really burn the fire upon you in the lava. It's just that my hurt. So you have Shensi up on the platform for give Shensi a damn good interview. Not just Shensi about Ramesh as well. And you lily down the interview lava. If Anthony Miller got Shensi up on the entertainment report show right now, and I say it difficult to do, but if Anthony Miller got her on the show right now, you feel as if Anthony Miller naga asked her about the whole drama and controversy thing surrounding Spice, you feel like say if Winford had Shensi or Ramesh on the platform, Winford wouldn't bring that up, even nightly fix, you feel like the fix would bring that up? Come on man love, I'm disappointed, but I'm going to stop, because somehow I feel like you, might, you probably take this as a bashing rather than, you know, constructive criticism. Criticism. You probably are going to want to preach as destructive, so I'm just going to stop. But I want you to know that I'm not going to try to disrespect you, disrespect your show, or nothing like that. You know, but I'm just disappointed that you have someone of Shensia's caliber and Ramesh on your platform and with the drama and controversy we are surrounded to all them there from the other day. You spoke nothing of that. You never asked the people no question that is of any substance, Lava. Jaja, Lava, I want to look at this. Go watch back your interview and you realize, say, it would seem as if Ramesh himself won't talk about the drama and controversy surrounding Spice and Shensi and so forth. Because remember, you know, Ramesh never, never put the artist artist thing there night and then clear him through it after that. Clearly a point say at this way I want to take the conversation go. But people, that is just my take on it, I'm sure. Likewise, the rest of thousands of other people enjoy the chat and laugh show. A lot of people right now we are listening to this enjoy the chat and laugh show. But just tell me what you think about that as I just share my opinion. Being a man's daughter poem for her grandmother who recently passed. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Arcadianis and welcome to my Disney channel. <laughs> Alright, so this poem is called Brown and Love, which I wrote for my recently deceased grandmother. Um, hope you guys like it. Um, let's begin. Brown eyed love Who bound me in her arms and wrapped me in love Cellophane my heart and opened my eyes to the world 
brown eyed love who fed me words of wisdom spiritually awakened me opened my mind to knowledge far beyond my comprehension planted me firm so my roots could grow brown eyed love who glanced at me with determination and fire disciplined me with love and understanding and showed me the meaning of family brown eyed love you mothered and fathered so many and taught me the same engraved peace and unity within my very being and to never give up on my family brown eyed love how did you do it how did you love so openly and boundlessly your unconditional heart shone beyond the cages of our soul and the helplessness of our words brown eyed love how am i supposed to let you go how am i supposed to wake each morning and grasp the fact that you are no longer here how am i supposed to keep living here conscious of a world that no longer holds your physical being brown eyed love i love you Nation, that I right for now. You see what time a clock, you see what time a knock, we're up and get the car here. And uh, as usual, my people. But. Definition. Walk one. Walk one. Walk one.